H. pylori is a, is a bacteria. In, the, in bacteriology class, we call it a gram-negative bacteria. It's a dangerous bacteria. It's been in our environment since man has been on Earth. It's carried around your house, your business, your restaurant on house flies. And literally, if they deposit it on your food, this bacteria, you eat it. It can live in your mouth above your teeth. Ultimately, you swallow it, it gets into your stomach, and in some people, not everybody, some people with the right genetic makeup or the wrong genetic makeup in any case, the bacteria starts to grow inside your stomach and intestinal tract. And it's a very interesting, very smart bacteria because what it does is it burrows underneath the mucosa and it secretes an enzyme called urease which alkalizes the area because all the acid in your stomach will kill it it hides underneath this stomach lining of yours called the mucosa secretes a very a very alkaline enzyme urease and guess what it causes ulcers it causes gastritis and it can cause cancer so it's a bacteria you do not want to know about you get a lot of symptoms with it a lot of bloating and distension and burning in your stomach it's a very 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 uh, uncomfortable uh, infection to have. Generally, it's treated with uh, antibiotics, but the treatment with antibiotics is very insufficient, very uh, unsatisfactory as far as people are concerned, because they still don't feel well even after the treatment. Well, there's a brand new study out of University of Nebraska, of course, in the International Applied Journal of Applied Environmental Microbiology about probiotics and certain foods literally helping you fight off and kill and even prevent H. pylori infection. Very, very, very important. Here it is, University of Nebraska. Researchers have described a strain of probiotic bacteria as a promising tool in the treatment of ulcers caused by H. pylori. Wow, that's really impressive. It says H. pylori is considered one of the major risk factors underlying the development of gastritis, gastric and duodenal ulcers, and of course, a gastric cancer as well. It says currently, antibiotic-based treatment for H. pylori is neither sufficient nor satisfactory. Just what we said. The use of probiotics is a potentially promising tool in the prevention and treatment of H. pylori. This is the first time we've ever seen a report uh, about that, even though we've been using this protocol uh, in practice for years. But this is the first study that's been done. It continues, lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, two of the uh, products, they, two of the, uh, the strains, really, that they created, had an inhibition level of nearly 95% against infection. It says, after 21 days, lab animals treated with the combination of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium developed significantly fewer ulcers than the control group. The researchers believe that the treatment partially relieved damage to the gastric tissue caused by the H. pylori infection. Not only did it relieve the infection, but the combination of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium relieved the damage to the mucosa, literally reduced the inflammation, reduced the ulceration to the lining of the stomach and the small intestine. And I'm going to tell you to the esophagus as well. It continues, bifidobacterium is often used in studies focused on the prevention of gastrointestinal infection. The regular intake of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium and bulgaricum have demonstrated the ability to prevent several disorders, including diarrhea, inflammatory bowel disease, and so on. And so the best combination they're talking about at the University of Nebraska is that F, the, the strain called lactobacillus acidophilus bulgaricum and bifidum. That's exactly what they produce at the, at the university, Prodophilus 1, 2, and 3. But the point of this story is, very nicely put, that utilization of these probiotics, and when you think of probiotics, you mostly think of intestinal tract, right? You don't think of stomach, but the stomach depend on probiotics almost as much as the intestinal tract does, and that the inclusion of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium have a very powerful effect on literally killing off the H. pylori and at the same time healing the precancerous ulcers that the bacteria created.